It's uh, the middle of November and um, everything that I want to do on the Triumph is done. That's running lovely now so I've nothing else to do on that really. Which, um, which is okay because in the other garage I've got a couple of bikes that will be from uh, January next year which is only like a six weeks away I suppose six or seven weeks away I'm gonna have two more historic vehicles registered the uh, the XJ 750 and another XS 650 so let's go and have a look in the other garage and uh, perhaps pull them out and get them started up see see if they still run so here in my little Aladdin's cave got the excesses that I've been working on during the year both of these are good and nice and up and running I've rebuilt the chop so the chop is all back together and up and running and the two that I want to get out is the, uh, the XJ750 there and another XS650 the green one here so I want to get them out today swap them all around a bit so that I can um, work on these for well basically have them ready for the beginning of the next year when I uh, get them uh, upgraded to a historic vehicle on you know, each of them I mean at 40 years old that XJ750 in December this year becomes 40 years old so luckily enough January next year it'll be uh, historic and this um, XS650 here in March uh, 81 that was that was built so that's really already a historic vehicle but um, you still have to pay tax on it until um, April next year the same with the XJ so but um, at least I can send off the um, V5s and getting made into historic vehicles ready for April when I take them take the paperwork down to the old post office and get a year's tax on each of them free of charge so let's see if we can get them out and um, fire them up I don't think they've, they've been run for quite a few months really the pair of them I might have just had them running sometime in the year can't remember how long ago really it was I mean the um, the last time I run the the XJ up it was it was struggling a bit don't know why but we'll have to have a look at that and uh, well let's just get them out one at a time and have a look shall we so here's the uh, the XJ still reasonably clean carbs might need a bit of cleaning out I think possibly see how it goes when I try and start it up it's like relatively new plugs in there I might have put in there before I think the last time I worked on this is when I changed the uh, the clutch in it and put a different clock on the front uh, let's, uh, let's attempt to get this one going I think let's see what we can do with this
carbs definitely want cleaning out in that. It feels like the um, at least a couple of pilot jets in it are blocked up. When you uh, open the throttle, you got that, that that it just dies on a couple of pots. So uh, yeah, carbs are gonna have to come off on that, and we'll have a look at them. And let's see about the other one. Right, so both bikes want their carbs cleaned out. This is um, not it's, it's blocked up on the left hand side, it's not having none of it. And the XJ750, that I can't remember the last time, I think I probably cleaned them carbs out in something like maybe 2010 or something like that. Long time ago. But, but this one's, I mean, both of them have been sitting in the garage for the last couple of years really not not been run a lot so I think start with the easy one which is this one here and take them carbs off and clean them out and then see what it goes like afterwards Funny angle because the old uh, tripod I'm using is like from the, from the 50s, I reckon. So, let's have a look at the. Let's have a look at the. Uh, fire jets in this, really. Let's put, let's put a t shirt down there. So. Set up all the petrol. Let's give them a These bowl screws are M M5 by 15. If you want to change your horrible fuzzy screws out, much easier using these. I tell you. Right, so we'll do new gaskets on them. Even 
put new rubbers on there, they're still rubbery. Let's give it a blast with some, some meal spray cleaner. Wasn't blocked up. It's going to go in there a bit. Had it. It's melting this gasket. It literally falling the bits. So, uh, what we need to check out is this hole here. And there's a tiny, tiny jet inside there. The minute that gets blocked up you've got starting problems, running problems a lot. So give that a blast with the outside. reasonably blocked. Oh, that was me my new favourite tool. Oh, Here's that. My new favourite tool donated by Carl with the bother. This is a great tool this is to get all them gaskets off. Quite sharp there. So much for me uh, bowl to save me screws. As I'm, as I'm spraying the carb spray down there, it's, it's hardly coming out of the the orifice at the bottom, <laughs> the other at the bottom. So there's another got another tip for you. I'll be back in a second. So these guitar strings get the uh, get a tiny guitar string makes, makes for an excellent oh, it's gone down it's gone down through that
feel it going down through that um, that jet down the bottom. Walk them down. Next side. Let's have a look here. That's not too bad. Let's all put that together, now put some petrol in it and uh, see what happens. Oh yeah, just had it running but one of the carbs was leaking so I had to tap the bowl with a, the wooden end of a hammer and that stopped it leaking so before I start up again I'm just going to let it evaporate a little bit. 
we should do it again. Flooded that left cylinder a little bit with a card leaking, but it's like smoking a little bit at the back on this side. Once that walls up, sort itself out. Running right now. Though. One ready for uh, ready for next summer. <laughs> yeah, smoke started clearing up on that on this side. Probably don't help it. It's freezing cold out here as well. But yeah, that's all right. Sounds all right. Goes all right. Ticks over, lovely, doesn't it? This one. Right, let's put the, um, the seat back on, push this back in the garage and probably tomorrow I'll give that our, uh, XJ a look at. Guess that's a bigger job with the carbs on that, getting them things out and in. Pain in the butt they are. But as for this one, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>